Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes out of Missouri by way of Crystal City. And big shout out to everyone in Missouri. I hope you all are staying warm because I know it's cold as hell right now. To all my people in KC, yes, that's Kansas City, St. Louis, Springfield, Columbia, Independence, Lee Summit, O'Fallon. I hope I said it right. But anyway, big shout out to everybody and also Blue Springs in the house. Now, we have a very ironic story and you all might say well damn Trey all your stories are ironic yes they are I, I just don't understand it but anyway now we have a newly parents yes newly parents who gave birth to a son but one thing about it this boy the baby wasn't gaining no weight and you might ask yourself well damn why wasn't the child gaining no weight you know what what was wrong the child was sick no he wasn't sick was the child uh going through some kind of mental Health issues? No, he wasn't none of that. Was the child uh basically uh, not having enough to eat? Yes, she hit it right on the spot. The mom and the dad wasn't feeding the child. Now, they trying to put the whole blame on the mom, but damn all that shit. We ain't going to let them put all the blame on the mom because the mom is to blame just like the dad because guess what? It takes two to make it. So both of y'all made this child. So both of you all are responsible for it. That's just like if you're sitting there watching somebody beating your child or hurting your child and you don't do a damn thing about it. You just as guilty guilty in my Bill Cosby voice as the person that's doing it. So the hell with all that. Now they saying that the child weighed only five pounds, just five pounds, probably a little bit less, but they stayed five pounds when the baby died. Now the baby was six weeks old. Now you all tell me for people who out there really that knows how much a six week old child is supposed to weigh. Please let us know in the comment section how much does a six-week-old child supposed to weigh? Because I know damn well it's more than five pounds. You got babies who's born eight, nine, ten pounds. Some of them ten pounds, eleven pounds. That cookie would never be the same. But anyway, no damn child that I know, six weeks old, supposed to die just like that unless that baby is smoking rocks or crack. And I doubt very seriously if them children are doing that. So these damn parents needed to get it together because I'm telling you what they're going to do in the future. They're going to make it where you have to <laughs> have permission to sign um, uh, you have to have permission, excuse me, to have children. And, and if you caught violating that, they may end up taking a child and doing something else to it. I'm just telling you what, what's coming down the pipeline in the future. You might say, well, Trey, how you know? You just live long enough. You're going to see it all. I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I'm going to get my opinion, all of it, surely, as we go. Missouri couple are charged with starving their six-week-old baby to death after the newborn died weighing just five pounds. Less than when he was born. He weighed less when he died than what he weighed when he was born. Now, Philip Thomas Leon Compton. No, he's not from Compton, California. 31 years old. Look at every bit. Look every bit. 47 in the face. And no offense to all my people out there, 47. That's holding it down. That's looking at me right now saying, boy, forget you. I know I'm the shit. I'm 47 myself. Big shout out to you. And Jessica Alice Cook, 33, look every bit, this helpful look every bit of 53 in the face. Yes, she do. 33 plus 20, you add it up. Of Crystal City have been charged with abuse or neglect of a child resulting in death. And why did it take so damn long? This story didn't happen, but they just now arrested them, damn near 10 months later. You might say, well, damn, why did it take so long? Because I know some people who whoop their child ass and they get sent to jail that same day. By matter, matter of fact, about an hour later. Now, Canaan Compton, I don't know if they named him after Canaan uh, 50 Cent on the show Power. I hope not. But anyway, because you know what happened to 50 Cent Canaan on that show Power. So, you know, I don't know if it's karma or whatever. But anyway, Canaan Compton was born last Christmas Eve. Oh, he had a special birthday, Christmas Eve, weighing more than six pounds and died six weeks later. Oh, weighing just five pounds. I mean, he just came in and out. Poor baby. Didn't he have a chance to live his life? Compton, 31 years old, said he thought his wife was feeding him, but the couple missed doctors due to bad weather are simply forgetting. So which one is it? Which one is it? Was it bad weather or was it the fact they didn't give a damn or they didn't give a fuck? I think they did not give a damn. I don't give a damn how bad that weather is. You feel me? Unless, unless it's raining fireballs from the sky, Armageddon or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to take my child to the damn doctor. Now, I don't know about all that. I ain't going to say that part. But, uh, well, I'm going to say it. I don't know about all them shots, but I, I'm going to take my damn uh child to the doctor. You feel me? But them shots, something else. But at the same time, how in the hell can they justify this? See, here's another case where they try to justify 
stupidity. You don't justify stupidity. You talk about stupidity. Not saying that you judge and you're God or whatever, but you judge stupidity. We we can make excuses all day. And like I said in all the other videos, excuses are like buttholes. Everybody got one and some of them are one. Let's continue. Now, Cook told police her baby would sleep a lot and she wouldn't wake him to feed. You know why your baby slept a lot? Because you wouldn't feed him. He didn't have no damn energy. He waking up like, ain't no food that he looking around. <sighs> Go right back to damn sleep. Poor baby, I'm telling you. You know Trey loved the kids. I hate when people do children like this. Hell, give them to somebody. Damn, and the way they look, especially this woman, the guy too, but especially, they like they like drugs here. They like drug heads. Let me just keep it real. Like straight milf heads, crack heads, all kind of things that's bad that end with head. Except for the other thing. Now, a Missouri couple have been accused of starving their six-week-old baby to death after he weighed more than a pound less than when he was born. Now, little Canaan Compton appeared malnourished when paramedics were called to his home in Crystal City in February. Yes, it took 10 months like I told you all. According to the court records, the paramedics came over there in February and they just now charged these people 10 months later. With the death of this child. Why did it take so long, Crystal City? That's what I want to know. Now, his parents, Philip Thomas Leon Compton, what a hell of a name, 31 years old, and Jessica Alice Cook, 33 years old, have now been charged with abuse or neglect of a child resulting in death. Hell, you should just gave their ass murder. That's what it was. It was murder, like UGK said. The newborn was born last Christmas Eve, weighing more than six pounds and died six weeks later. Weighing just five pounds. The St. Louis Dispatch reports. Court documents say paramedics were called to their home to report, to reports, excuse me, of a baby having difficulty breathing, the news station reported. Now, Canaan was rushed to Mercy Jefferson Hospital in Festus. Damn, they got a city named Festus? Made me think about the Adams, Adams family, but died less than an hour later. Man, that's sad. I mean, he was on his last leg in the damn way. He lasted that damn long. And how can you sit up there and not feed a child? And it also says it gets, it gets a lot better and also a lot worse. Now, Compton 31 is said to have told investigators he thought the child was fine. How in the hell can you think your child found your child have the same pamper on, didn't even have a bowel movement, and you probably weren't even changing the baby diaper, wasn't eating, and you did not see your child getting skinny, you, didn't, you did not know the process of child development, you don't know that a child, as it comes out the womb, is small, unless that woman got a womb that damn big. The child's small, it grows. You know, things grow, just like a seed to be a seed. All of a sudden, years later, it's a big-ass tree. You feel me? Be a little well, all of a sudden, it's a big well. So you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me, and the rest of the Trader King Show family, that you did not notice your child wasn't growing? How dare you? The audacity of this ninja to sit here and lie to us. Let's continue. Now, he said he thought the child was doing fine. Due to him and Miss Cook both being very skinny, he used the term because they were very skinny. The reason why he thought his child was fine because the child was skinny. No, both of y'all are very skinny because it looked like, it looked like, allegedly, that you're a little what we call crackish, like Jamie Foxx said. I'm not saying that you're on crack or meth. You just look a little crackish. And he said also he thought his wife was feeding him. How? Your baby wasn't having a bowel movement. And then he contradicted himself. Now, remember, he said he thought his wife was feeding the child. But then he says later on in the story, wait till we get there. But the new dad is said to have admitted that Todd had had a bowel movement in more than five days. What person eating? And you said that he, he said he thought his, his wife was feeding him. But what person that eat and don't go use the damn bathroom? I don't care how pretty you look. I don't care your Beyonce. You Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, I don't care if you Idris Elba, you know what I'm saying, Tom Cruise, we all use the damn bathroom. That's why I say all our shit stinking. If it, and if it don't, you need to go find out why, because you might be just all rotted inside. Let's continue before I get in trouble. Now, he said he thought his partner had sorted it and said his own mom even contacted him to say Canaan appeared thin and needed to see a doctor, according to the cops. I mean, damn, unless your mama is half blind. Or cockeye, like, you know how them eyes be and stuff. No offense to my people out there, cockeye. I know I got a few people on my uh subscribe account. You know we family, right? We can talk to each other, right? Don't get mad at me now. If you get mad at me, just, damn, unsubscribe and go on. You feel me? Because it ain't nothing but love over here. Now, I know I got some people out there cockeyed out there because I can tell by the comments. Let's continue. I had to explain that. Also, the police report says first-time dad. No, no, they put first-time dad Compton. Called Miss Cook and multiple times to check on the child 
rather than getting out of bed on the morning of his son's death. Let's 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 re, let's re, let's rewind it. Let's rewind. The Polish report says first time dad Compton. It sounds like they're trying to uh, uh, add a little sugar to the dad situation. Sounds like they're trying to put all this shit on the mom and stuff. And the mom, the way her hair looked like, all that shit been on. That's probably why she didn't give a damn about the child. Let's continue. Now, the police report says first time dad Compton called Miss Cook and multiple times to check on the child. Rather than getting out of bed on the morning of his son's death. Now, what person give a damn about their child would not even get out of the bed on the morning of the child's death? That goes to show you right there, both of you all just as guilty as guilty as a sin is sin, sin. And it adds up to this. After being woke by Miss Cook, who was scared for the child, Compton went into the bathroom before checking on the condition of the child. I guess he had to go in there and take him a fresh hot one. A lawyer for Compton, Lenny Kagan, told the St. Louis Dispatch, he worked full time. Hell, I worked full time also. It was only assuming his wife was feeding his child. He worked full time, eight hours, 40 hours a week, considered full time. But that don't mean he was at work all day long. Unless he was just at work all day long, he had some kind of offshore job where you go offshore for about two, three, four weeks and stuff, and these women be cheap. Oh, damn, I'm going to post, post say that part. But uh, you go offshore or you have these cross country jobs and stuff, and unless he's gone, or he's in a service where you be going months in, months out. That's the only way that I can see it would be justifiable in a court of law that he wouldn't have known his child's condition. Much, I, much, I, must, must I go on. Also, he said he is a first time parent. Here they go again with that. First, he was a first time dad. Now he's a first time parent and a good guy. He's a good guy. He just didn't make sure his son was being fed. Then take him to the doctor. Then he got to bed on the morning of his son's death. But he's a Good guy I had to wipe my eye on them. Damn, they shed a tear. His life has been turned upside down, and so has Mrs. Cook. It's called a partnership. You feel me? It's a reason why when a child is born, you need the mom name and the dad name. It's a reason why you have moms and dad. So if the if the mom ain't doing her job, the dad step up. If the dad's not doing his job, the mom step up. Why must that shit be so difficult to some people? Why in the hell is it so difficult? I mean, life is simple. It's very simple. Once you get it together, it's these ninjas. And you ain't just got to be one color to be a ninja. So let me make that clear. We have all kinds of ninjas. We have white, Chinese, Mexican, Latino, black, all kinds. So don't take it the damn wrong way. A ninja is just a ninja. Let's keep on before I get in trouble. Now, it's a 100% tragic accident. Philip is devastated. The family is devastated. The Trey King Show family is devastated. And I myself am flabbergasted. Let's go and continue this before uh before his family come get me. Police say the couple canceled doctor's appointments. Why are you canceling a doctor's appointment? Due to bad weather. No way of getting there or simply forgetting. So which one is it? What kind of shit is this? See, I mean, can we please contact some news station? Put me on the app. Shit, put me on the damn air. Just, just sit me right there in my chair and give me my paper to read and we're we going to turn it up. Because I'm going to call the bullshit out. I'll probably get fired just like Lamont Hill on CNN when he spoke out at the UN. But anyway, that's another story. Now, police say the couple canceled doctor's appointments due to bad weather. No way of getting there or simply forgetting. So which one is it? We don't know what the fuck to believe. Damn. Cook is said to have told police her baby would sleep a lot because he was tired. He was weak. Weak in the knees like SWVs. And what's that new song they got out? You make me weak in the knees. He's weak. Shit. Have you ever been, have, just like you ever been sick, you ever had the flu pneumonia, you be so weak you can't even get up. The only thing you can do is, is probably roll over to pee. Sometimes you just piss on yourself. I ain't never did it pee on myself. I'm just saying, sometimes you, you be wanting to. You feel me? So, that's because what? You're weak. Not the, not the days of the week. No, you're weak in the knees. Cook is said to have told police her baby would sleep a lot and she wouldn't wake him to feed him. You a bad ass mama. I tell you the truth. You dirty heifer and you dirty dad. Both of y'all are guilty in my eyes. Forget them trying to put it all on a woman because he's just as guilty. If the mom ain't able to stand, damn dad, you supposed to stand up. If the dad's not able to stand, mom, you supposed to stand up. Y'all both laid down and made this child. So both of you all are 100% liable. The baby's grand reportedly asked people to pray for Canaan's parents following his death and said the family was heartbroken. Not as heartbroken as, as God. Not as heartbroken as Jesus. 
Y'all didn't even take care of one of the, one of his sheep. You, you let the main prize get away. And you want us to pray for the family? Yeah, we're we, we going to pray for them, all right? Now, Compton and Cook, who does not have an attorney, were only charged Friday, but officials have not said why he had taken 10 months for the arrest. Let me know what you all think about this video because they said an autopsy said Canaan died as a result. Because this is a key right here. This this is a key. The key that that put that nail in the coffin. And an autopsy report said Canaan died as a result from malnutrition and probable dehydration. The baby had no liquid in him. They didn't even have enough to even pee. What kind of mess is going on? Let me know what you all think, Crystal City. Let me know. Missouri, chime in. If you know these people, let me know, because I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure that they could have did a better job of taking care of this child. And also, don't you notice how they tell these stories? They always trying to make somebody be a more victim. No, you're both guilty. You're both in the same damn house. No matter if, if you do look like crackheads and dopeheads, I wouldn't give a damn. And for the parents to sit up there and say, please play for the parents. No, let's, let's pray for Canaan. Let's, let's, let's pray for the little baby. The hell with these damn grown ass parents. You had your time. You had your choice. You had your chance to get your life right. The hell with that. Because this going to keep going on and on and on. And we're going to keep on, some of us, making excuses for grown ass people. The hell with that shit. Let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And definitely. Most definitely. Don't steal the video and put it on your own platform now. Don't steal my shit and put it on your channel. When I say share, that means share. That means you hit the share button on YouTube. I don't need to find my shit somewhere else on somebody else's site. That's a different story too. But at the same time, share this with your no good ass family members and friends, uh, relatives, cousins, whoever, friends, foes, who don't give a damn about their damn children. Just send it to them and say, listen to this. You all have a blessed day. And love them children because you lay down and have them. And if you don't want children, close your damn legs or go master, you know what, fish bait. Anyway, I'm out.